God says, you've waited, cried, prayed, and persevered. Now, you are about to experience blessings and breakthroughs in every area of your life. God says, I am going to open doors for you that have been locked for a long time. Suddenly, miracles will happen in your life, type 1111 if you needed this, let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love, for in you, I trust. Make me know the way I should go, for you I lift up my soul, Psalm 143 verse 8. God is removing toxicity from your life. Love is coming your way. Money is coming your way. You are going to be happier than you have ever been, type 777 if you agree, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you believe in God. Type, I really love your channel because you've brought me blessings. And if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks, from $10 to a $20, you're attracting only the best into your life right now. Welcome this new energy. Type, yes, if you're ready. The universe has a miracle with your name on it. Type, thanks, to receive. This is a message from your angels telling you to stay optimistic and focused. Raise your vibration, connect to higher divine power, and attract abundance. Type, yes, if you're ready, you're entering a season where you will experience victory after victory and breakthrough after breakthrough. Type, yes, to receive. Wine is a mocker, and beer a brawler. Whoever is led astray by them is not wise, Proverbs 20 verse 1. Quick prayer, Lord, remove every bit of procrastination and fear from my mind and body. You will receive someone who will change your life. Miracles will happen by the end of this month. Something unexpected and wonderful is about to happen to you. Type 111 if you believe. I don't know who needs to read this, but Isaiah 61 verse 22 says, when the time is right, and trust God, this is your confirmation that something you have prayed for is on its way. Type, yes, if you believe. The person you are thinking about will start obsessing over you and contact you. Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded, James 4 verse 8. If you don't feel like praying, force it because something is also forcing you not to pray. A big energy shift has happened for you. All the money you spent will come back multiplied. Real love will find you, and your dreams are manifesting. Type, yes, to affirm. Tomorrow will be one of the best days of your whole life. Something really good will go your way tomorrow, and the thing that you have been waiting on will happen. Later, I forgot to mention great news you will receive at 7 p.m. if you interact with this video three times. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for my family and loved ones. I pray that you will watch over them and keep them safe. Please give them the heart of wisdom so that they can make the right choices. Teach them to always be humble and please guide them so that they can draw closer to you every day. In Jesus' name, Amen, God says, please understand that I hear all of your prayers. Just because you don't receive everything that you ask for doesn't mean that I don't listen. It means that I have something far better in store for you, type Amen, and share if you believe. Do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, Romans 12 verse 2. Angel says, you will receive good news tomorrow morning around 9.30 a.m., and if you save this audio comment yes to attract it. God is everywhere, so pray everywhere, comment Amen, if you receive it. You will suddenly meet the right person, your health will improve, closed doors will open, your angel is going to do something groundbreaking for you. You're about to overtake with blessings you have never seen before. Type, yes, to affirm. I know the God I serve, there is nothing He cannot do. He is the Creator, Alpha and Omega, He will help you, John 15 verse 7. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. Amen. You have been created in my image, and I have given you a mind that functions well, a body that can move and function, and a heart that can love. I have given you these things so that you may be human beings and not just animals. You have been given the capacity to think, reason, and communicate, 
The world I have created for you is one where your intelligence will be constantly challenged by new ideas from other people with different ideas than yours, where your ability to reason will be tested every day, where communication will be critical in every relationship, and where having an attitude of openness will make all the difference in how well you succeed. I want all this for each of my children. For all people everywhere because it is part of what it means to be human, but I also want more than this for each of my children, a life filled with joy and fulfillment. And so I give them free will so they can choose whether or not they will use their minds in ways that bring them joy or fulfillment or both. Today is the day we will talk about God. I am going to tell you about my father, my mother, and how we came to be here on earth. My father was a man who loved his family very much. He had five children, two boys, and three girls. The oldest boy was named Joseph, the second one was named Benjamin, the third one was named Judah, and the fourth one was named Levi. And then there was me. Levi. My mother was called Leah, and my father Jacob. Didn't you have another brother? asked the children. Yes, said God but he died when he was young. All of them together said, Oh, and they were very sad because they missed their brother so much, how come he died, they kept asking. God smiled and said, One day, while I was out walking with my brothers in search of food for us all, we saw an animal that looked like a deer lying down in front of us on the ground. We knew it wasn't right to kill something that looked so helpless so we decided not to kill it but instead let it go free so that it could find its own way back home again, but where you are, my beloved daughter, you are my beautiful flower, you are the apple of my eye, and I am proud of you. You will win, you will be victorious, you will overcome the challenges that life throws your way. You are a winner not because of what you have done but because of who you are and what I have done in you. Dear Heavenly Father, please calm my heart. I pray that you will free me from the worry and fears replaying in my mind as I lay down to sleep. Take my anxiety and frustrations. Give me peace and comfort as I close my eyes. Troubled or afraid, so help me to trust in your word. Thank you, Lord, for taking the burdens of the day for me. I pray for sweet sleep and a rested mind, heart, and soul. In Jesus' name, Amen, Jeremiah 31 verse 25. For I have given rest to the weary and joy to the sorrowing. Miracles are pouring into your life at an unstoppable rate. You are going up mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and financially. Are you ready? Type yes to affirm. Forgive anyone you're holding a grudge against. Forgiveness is crucial for your well-being. Mark 11 verse 25, Prayer for a miracle, Dear God, I pray for a miracle. I have faith that you can change my circumstances and make the impossible possible. Your word says that even a small amount of faith can move mountains. So, I ask that you help me to believe. Speak to this mountain, nothing is too difficult for you, your power is unlimited, in your love for me, unconditional. Please give me the strength to endure and trust you. I declare that I am worthy of your blessings and ask that this miracle becomes a testimony to your grace and power. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds, Psalm 147 verse 3. God says, if you are seeing this, your future is about to get a lot richer. Don't skip this, karma is real. At least save it for the drafts. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes, Ephesians 6 verse 11. Congratulations! Your angel is saying to you today that the pain will end, the tears will stop, the door will open, a miracle is approaching. Type, yes, if you agree. Psalms 136 verse 1 O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever, God says, I am going to blow your mind with abundance. You will start getting unlimited wealth, health, and prosperity in the next 12 hours. You will receive great happiness in terms of love, money, and health. So, watch this video to receive it by God's grace. For those of you who obey my commands, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you, John 15 verse 7, 